God, me, I promise. You could be there your world the day. Welcome to this episode of Y'all of the Day. My name is Kuji Shaw, and the head is big for a reason. This episode of Y'all of the Day is brought to you by Tap Tap Scent. Now, Tap Tap Scent is available, currently available in New York. What do I say? So, Ghanaians in New York, where they want to send money, come home. That is the app for you. Download the Tap Tap Scent app, use it to send money, use the promo code Yawa, and enjoy amazing discount. Now, this weekend, the Kumi Preku demonstration happened. And yes, demonstrations be something with me. I always then peaceful demonstration. Let me put it down. Before we will come talk, say, could you show them is this and, and that and endorsing this and this and that. But the Kumi Preku demonstration happened. And I'm sure people have seen pictures, people have seen uh, pictures of people holding placards, uh, people, you know, venting out their splints and whatnot. But yes, why Kumi Preko? So the Kumi Preko demonstration is one of the biggest demonstrations to ever has happened in the history of Ghana. Not this one, the first one. The Kumi Preko, the original Kumi Preko demonstration was spearheaded by Dr. Reku Brobe. Those days, it was in 1995. I think at that time I was one year. Yeah, 1995. The first Kumi Preko demonstration was spearheaded by Dr. Reku Brobe. Nanado Danko Kufu Adukwesi Prat. Um, Akutu Ampao, the legends of the game. There is a picture of them, like actually demonstrating, and they demonstrated against Rollins in regime. That time, Rollins introduced VAT, the VAT you will know now. 1995, it was introduced. They they decided to demonstrate against it because, according to them, at that time, the ordinary Ghanaians said they know the fear afford what you go chop. So there was general hardship in the country, and so for the government to introduce the VAT. It was something that they revenged them. So they took to the street. And it was reported that 100,000 people were in attendance. So that is... Uh, Nana Kufuado was part of the, the gang. Hey, sorry, I didn't mention his name. I'm building the premise of the story to something. A Kufuado was part of the people. So it was a Kufuado, Dr. Charles Rekubrobe, Kwesi Pratt, um, Akutu Ampao. They, they, I mean, names they, but them, them plenty. But these were like the notable figures. And so note, Akufuadu was part of the conversation. So right now, this one, the one, the one way it happened this weekend, um, it was spearheaded or it was initiated by lawyer Martin Pebu. Now, he, your man was like, let me not even get creative with a new name for the demonstration. Let me just pick the same demonstration Akufuadu demonstrated no, in with the name. They make it, make I guess use them. So they, they are basically, you see that since that, I do did the people demonstrated back in 1995. You know? These are some of the reasons people are demonstrating now. So choosing the Kumi Preku name was like, you know, it was like soft work for them. 
And so that is how we have uh, uh, the, the second part or the second coming of Kumi Preku. And that is what happened during the weekend. Now, Kumi Preku be cheap, but it, it, you go through translator, and you may as well as kill me. You may as well as kill me. So, like, Charlie, where the thing catch the other Kumi Preku? Like, kill me, make a go. Because right now, that's what bomb is, uh, make weak. So, make a go. So, that is the premise, or that is like the etymology of the demonstration. One happened in 1995. The reasons they demonstrated, some of the reasons they recurred now. And so people decided that we, too, we are going to demonstrate, but we are going to use the same name. So we, let's say Kumi Preku 2.0. But the first one was the biggest. Now, uh, I'm sure people have seen the videos. People took to the street. People um, expressed um, their opinions. Um, there were people who went on the street for their personal gains. There were people who went there to demonstrate genuinely. Various people took to the street to express themselves. And this is something where I've always said, said at the end of some demonstrations be cool. If you feel like something isn't right and you, you go for the necessary, you go get the necessary um, 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 clearance. And they say, oh, police, they are going to escort you this and this and that. Go out there and demonstrate. <laughs> This is what they strengthen uh, uh, democracy. In a democratic dispensation, these are some of the things where it will make the country the move. Of course, they had a lot of demands. But prominent among the demands, Nibini said, they say, President Nana Kufuado should resign. Kenufuriata should resign. Well, I'm here to tell you, say, it is not going to happen. Yes, I mean, it's not like I'm saying, say, it shouldn't happen. But he is not going to resign. You and I know. He didn't sack the finance minister. You think he's. Oh, come on, bro. It is not going to happen. <clears throat> but as I said, various. It, this was a, a non partisan demonstration, according to the organizers. It wasn't for NDC, it wasn't for the MPP, it wasn't for the DSTV people. It was just um, um, ordinary Ghanaians taking to the streets to vent their spleens. And as I said, there were people who went out there for their personal gains. There was one person who was talking about uh, the legalization of marijuana. Uh, we are told it's expensive, it's Marijuana is good. Marijuana is the papa. Marijuana is not the bone. But it's not the bone. It's not the bone. It's not the Marijuana is good. It is marijuana is good because one, it kills asthma. It helps the heart. It boosts the immune system. But so, what is expensive now? Is that it's true? expensive. Marijuana was sold um since one city, some is two city. But now marijuana is sold three city, five city. It doesn't make sense. I did a it's me I didn't have to my name for asthma. Wow. Um, I don't know whether it is Kofi Korea or Kofi Japanese. Yes, the person looks like <laughs> half Ghanaian, half Korean. He, I mean, she, he or she, I don't know. Okay, I, I think it's she. Yes, had this to say. There are people too who went there with genuine con. This man was like talking out of passion. He was basically, oh, Charlie, not be small. That is why I'm here. Because Emperor Yosalasi once said, throughout history, it has always been the inaction of those who should have acted, the indifference of those who should have known better. And the service of the voice of those who should have known that there should just there should be justice to be served for the people that has made evil to triumph. Now Akufaru came here in the 80s to campaign to, to, to demonstrate. The man is there 
and look at what he is putting all the youth of Ghana in. It's unpardonable, and he needs to step down. It's as simple as that. We will not tolerate anything. They, they, they have only 10 years to go. They have 10 years to go. Go and ask for rents in Accra. It's very difficult to live. Why? We cannot live like that and always sit in the house for other people to fight for us. Oliver shouldn't fight for us. We have to come and fight for ourselves. Ghana belongs to us. One philosopher, Thomas Hobbes, said one thing, that if there is a social contract that the people sign with the government, the social contract is that I vote for you and you provide the social amenities for me. If you don't, then the people relegate to the state of nature where there is total chaos and anarchy. So there is anarchy because everything the center is not holding. No, so now we don't have a democracy. We don't have a democracy because democracy is for the people, by the people, and for the people. So are we having a democracy in Ghana? No. No. How no. can no. no. See, to be for one is to be for arm. You don't tell someone when you are going for what you, what you want to embarrass yourself with. No. So the next action resides in us. Whatever thing that happens, the president should is in charge. And he should know that his actions and his, his inactions will amount to some consequences he might not like. The country can move into a ditch. But what is happening? He should know better. He has national security people. The country can move into a ditch. He should be mindful. He should know better. He has lived more than we have. And the people that lived for this country made sure, made sure that they sacrificed for us. And we ought to do the same. We ought to do the same for us to come and continue. And according to the like, research that I've done, this guy used to be like um, campus politician for the MPP. But right now, your man has taken to the street to, you know, vent um, his planes and whatnot. So, as I said, and the placards, too, uh, there were different kinds of descriptions or prescription. Hey, it's not description or prescription, whatever it is. I saw something like, um, uh, ooh, the battle. Where did it come? I have, I have, I have. I have some of them here. Let me see if I can read some to you. I saw um Uhiyam Pedido is a then I saw and it come. Let me let me read some to you. Um yes, yeah. Sikam Permis Management. Yes, I saw Sikam Permis Management. I saw protect the journalists, stop Galamse from the flat staff house. Your chair didn't vote for you into power, but it is enjoying more than us. So this one is in relation to Akufu Adu in chair, do I the transport time left right center everywhere they go, that chair they move. And that chair gave me it AC day inside. Bro, it's crazy. So that was it. And also, yes, um, this one is a greedy bull fruit. Uh, a whole lot, bro. A whole lot, a whole lot. What you see? And old lady, uh, old ladies were on the streets, young guys, Charlie, a lot of people, like different kinds of people, um, uh, where they feel like the system inside hard. You understand? So, Charlie, make we just stick to the street, make the government know what is happening. But yeah, as I said, this is healthy for our democracy. You understand? And I hope so that, I, as I said, they presented a lot of, you know, they had a lot of demands. So they presented it. But prominent amongst it was the fact that they want the president to resign, which is never going to happen. But they also listed other demands. Like how the, I mean, the president for make sure say, uh, the, you know, the four prices, the general hardship in the country, you know, you go reduce and whatnot. They presented all these things, you understand. And I hope said the president go listen to them. That is how it works. Because for the next two years now, car for in internal of office, you no, know, we really want to see some change and improvement. And you know, we say people just wake up and they won't go do health work. These are genuine demands and concerns where people, they won't present to you. So you have to listen to them. As for the resignation, they are not saying it's not going to work. It is never going to work. African leader, they forget resignation in final. So he's going to be in government. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that he has to listen to the people because the voice of the people is very, very, very important. And it is paramount. If he's looking, they're breaking the eighth cry, they also can be. This weekend, to Baumia claim your own. I will talk about them. He claim your own for the Hogochocho there, then give to one proper, proper. This is not a time for public appearances. This is the time to, to, to solve issues. People are suffering. People are struggling. And so make them, no. No. Whether the demonstration was politically motivated or not, we do not care. At the end of the day, what we are calling for is, we need the system to be fixed. We need the country to be fixed. 
And the measures that, I mean, he addressed the nation on the state of the economy. He put out a lot of measures that the government, you know, they were to in place so that they will make sure, say, at least the hardship will go and then go, you know, it will calm down small. I don't know how far they have gone to with the, 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 the since your man come list. But at the end of the day, if they don't fix this thing, the demonstrations will, will keep on they happen. And once again, you can't stifle the voice of the people. You can't sit on the voice of the people. They will find ways and means to express it. So, Mr. President, you saw the videos. You saw the pictures. And Kofonia break. Into you there, the resignation there, I know it's not going to happen. But do something. Do something. The next two years, no, two years long. If you are living, if you are living, if 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 you are living office today, at least you go through point one. Yes. Oh, I did this. I did that. I did this. I did. Your legacy be very very important. This is not even about the next election. This is about the Ghanaian people. So media, that is what I was say. But yes, shouts to all the people that took to the street to, or you know, make their um, their voices heard. It's very 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 important. You understand? I know it's a demonstrations like this will happen like boys they sit for house yeah, yeah. oh let us me let, let let us hit the street and what they are saying but this one i saw people on the street you understand the police too that was the our day and uh, they got the chance to wear their new gs and sons they wore their new uniforms and bulletproof and it will be small catch it they do for them every demonstration we had and they do exhibition they won't show you see they have uh, working gears and things yes that was the our day and so yes i don't think there was it was a peaceful uh, demonstration, and that be one thing that they love about him. Yes, peacefully they presented whatever they wanted to present to the president, and I hope said he will listen to him. But at the end of the day, action, action, be what are they want from this? Because this is not going to be the last demonstration. If things don't get better, people will take to the streets and they will demonstrate. But come in there, we. And so that that was um yeah the Kumi Preko demonstration. Also shout out to the lawyer Martin Pebu, um the convener of this particular demonstration. Yeah. So let's see what is gonna happen. Me, hopefully, I guess the hope say the system, you no, know, everything will calm down because boys they bleed. Honestly, like things things really, really day on on some level way. That's why everybody who say like people they room for town, everybody vex. In two the one could be crowded and the person vex in ball. You want to throw something hit you. Everybody vex. If you like, you the cut there, there is this video and that somebody then go sit for Trotsky inside where they want to talk politics. The driver say, man, I'm from Like the driver is tired. You understand? Everybody vex. So Adudi, please get to work. And I believe say you will find ways and means to fix this. One finance also they are any breaking the eight and I just have war and the boo boo. Because M fat. Mm, I'm fast also the any opposition on bets now watch it. Yes. Mm, it is what it is. And see. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, were you part of the demonstrators? If you're a part of let me know your experience in the comment section. Media, I wasn't there. I, I traveled. I was in Amsterdam. Yes, I came back yesterday. Right now, me me to two coin by heart, by heart. Yes. Yes. Me, my top private jets is in Tiana. Me, yes. And I mean private jets now me using. I can thank any creative mommy. Me yeah, for full me call Amsterdam. Here on your court. Me back again on your back. Me call Madina Kotobong. On your court. Sa. Ye Yusufo. Ye Framankwa. Ye Dishaus. Tukantanka. Automobile. I'm out.